Pat Buchanan, who now writes for World Net Daily, presented us with uh, one of his dumbest arguments yet this week. Talking about gay rights and civil rights, he says, The work, quote, is done, and now enforcement mechanisms only exist to, quote, validate the slander that America is a racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic country, which would revert to massive discrimination were it not for heroic progressives standing guard. So his argument is, understand that the civil rights era, it's over. We don't need it anymore. We don't need any movement to protect people. Everybody pretty much gets it. We're all equal. We should be equal under the eyes of the law. And there's no reason to have these same laws in place. He goes on to say it actually even more directly. He says, quote, A radical idea. Suppose we repealed the civil rights laws and fired all the bureaucrats enforcing these laws. Does anyone think hotels, motels, and restaurants across Dixie from D.C. to Texas would stop serving black customers? Does anyone think there would again be signs sprouting up reading whites and colored on drinking fountains and restrooms? Allow me to answer Pat Buchanan's question directly. Yes! Yes, they would. You know how I know that? Here's your evidence. Headline from not that long ago. Two, a two hours after the Supreme Court gutted the Voting Rights Act, Texas AG suppresses minority voters. Wow, would you look at that when you get rid of protections? Turns out people take advantage of that. Quote, Texas is already advancing a voter ID law and a redistricting, ma redistricting map blocked last year for discriminating against black and Latino residents. On top of that, Florida, North Carolina, Arizona, Tennessee, Mississippi, Arkansas, Alabama, South Carolina, Virginia. Less than 48 hours, quote, less than 48 hours after the Supreme Court struck down Section 4 of the Voting Rights Act of 1965, six of the nine states that had been covered in their entirety under the law's pre-clearance formula have already taken steps toward restricting voting. So, do you understand exactly what that means? As part of the 1965 Civil Rights Act, uh, there were certain states that were higher risk states for discrimination because they just were discriminating more, okay? Most of them in the South, in the Bible Belt. So, what this did is it said, any changes these guys, these states make to their election laws, you have to clear it with the federal government because any changes you make, you're probably doing it to suppress minority voters because you're all racist. So, for the longest time, the Civil Rights Act was able to block crazy, insane, backwards, bigoted people from blocking black people from going to the polls. Okay? Uh, and then the second that they repealed uh, certain parts of the Voting Rights Act, Act, boom. They went right back to doing it. Didn't skip a beat. Didn't skip a beat. Different voter ID laws shuffling around the districts, gerrymandering even more to make it so that you can lock down Republican areas and disenfranchise other areas. It's quite pathetic. And it's also proving our point. That, of course, civil rights protections are still necessary. Of course there are some people in rural Mississippi or Alabama or Tennessee or Louisiana who are going to say, we don't serve your kind around here, none. Get on out of here. And what happens in a situation like that? Imagine you're traveling. You're a black family that's traveling. And you have to go through rural Mississippi. And you got to get some food or you got to get some gas. And some uh, racist jackass says, we don't serve your kind. You got to keep moving. And you run out of gas in the middle of rural Mississippi. What happens then? Or you want to eat, get something to eat, but everybody in that town, it's one of those really, really deep red, crazy racist towns, and they don't want to serve you food. What happens then? you got to drive until you can find a place to eat, but what happens if one of those places doesn't come about for another 80 miles and you, don't, you only have enough gas to go 30 miles? What happens? You're on your own? Fuck it? Take care of it yourself? Is that how this country is supposed to work? Is that what the 14th Amendment is about? Equal protection under the law? No, it's the exact opposite of that. Pat Buchanan is exactly wrong. And by the way, even without bringing up the racial aspect to this, which is obvious and which I just broke down for you, keep in mind, saying that we don't need protections, uh, protection uh, and civil rights laws, this also applies to gay people. This all, he's also saying, no, 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 they don't need protections. But wait a second, uh, are you really that stupid? There's only 17 states that allow gay marriage right now. But we don't need to protect gays? But they're already being fucked over. What are you talking about? We don't need to protect them. We haven't even gotten to a point where they are protected yet. There are 29 states where you can get fired for being gay. 29 states, if you walk into a restaurant and you look effeminate and the owner doesn't like the way you're acting, get out. I think you're queer. 